Three young women who went missing a decade ago escaped their capture today and were found alive and are now safe. Police say Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight were all held against their will in the home of a 52-year-old man who was taken into custody earlier today. At last from the shadows, their families wait with open arms. Oh my God, she is so skinny, but she was still beautiful. She had the biggest smile that she always had. It was like a dream. I needed somebody to wake me up. Thank you, Lord. You brought my baby back home. They've been home now for three years. Kind of feels like yesterday, but then again, I feel like in three years we've been through so much and we've done so much that it's kind of flown by and you think, wow, three years. And, you know, sometimes I still can't believe I'm home. With time to reflect on what happened, Amanda Berry and Gina De Jesus sat down to talk with us recently. They hope that sharing their perspective might help save other missing children. I would say that it is important to mention missing people on the news because you don't know if the missing people, missing kids have television. They were allowed to watch television while in captivity and waited desperately every year on the date of their abduction, hoping their stories would make the news. I would wake up that day on April 2nd just to see my parents on TV. And sometimes they would have different different stories for the day and, and not show me in the morning. I think my family was wonderful because every time they went on, you know, they would always say, we'll never give up until that day that she comes home or we know something for sure. We won't give up. So, um, I think that's just what kept me going all those years because I know that they weren't going to give up. While their story captured national attention, there are many other recovered children that you never hear about. According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, 56 other long-term cases have been solved. Those 56 children have been missing for more than 20 years. What makes me mad is that they didn't even find us. We got lucky that day and Amanda escaped and they should have found us. Like that's all we wanted was to be found. We knew when uh, this case happened in Cleveland that we needed to do something. This was a call to action for us. Robert Lowry leads the Missing Children Division at NECMEC. He brought together hundreds of experts to the center in a first ever summit on long-term missing children. Their hard work produced a blueprint to help law enforcement bring more of these children home. It's not a stretch for me to say that there are other children out there in captivity. We know that, we believe that strongly, and we're gonna continue in the search until all the missing children have been found. You know, if there are people out there watching our story now, and they're kind of stuck in the same situation we were, you know, you keep that strength, you keep that hope, because that's kind of what we did. You know, anything that you can have hope for, grasp onto it, and just know that you, you keep that strength, then you can make it home too. Just never give up.